Common knowledge is a special kind of knowledge for a group of agents. There is common knowledge of P in a group of agents G when all the agents in G know P, they all know that they know P, they all know that they all know that they know P, and so on ad infinitum. The concept was first introduced in the philosophical literature by David Kellogg Lewis in his study Convention, 1969. The sociologist Morris Friedel defined common knowledge in a 1969 paper. It was first given a mathematical formulation in a set theoretical framework by Robert Amon, 1976. Computer scientists grew an interest in the subject of epistemic logic in general and of common knowledge in particular starting in the 1980s. There are numerous puzzles based upon the concept which have been extensively investigated by mathematicians such as John Conway. The philosopher Stephen Schiffer, in his book Meaning, independently developed a notion he called mutual knowledge which functions quite similarly to Lewis's common knowledge. Example Puzzle The idea of common knowledge is often introduced by some variant of the following puzzle. On an island, there are cave people who have blue eyes, and the rest of the people have green eyes. At the start of the puzzle, no one on the island ever knows their own eye color. By rule, if a person on the island ever discovers they have blue eyes, that person must leave the island at dawn, anyone not making such a discovery always sleeps until after dawn. On the island, each person knows every other person's eye color, there are no reflective surfaces, and there is no discussion of eye color. At some point, an outsider comes to the island, calls together all the people on the island, and makes the following public announcement, at least one of you has blue eyes. The outsider, furthermore, is known by all to be truthful, and all know that all know this, and so on, it is common knowledge that he is truthful, and thus it becomes common knowledge that there is at least one islander who has blue eyes. The problem, assuming all persons on the island are completely logical and that this too is common knowledge, what is the eventual outcome? Solution The answer is that, on the KTH dawn after the announcement, all the blue-eyed people will leave the island. Proof The solution can be seen with an inductive argument. If K equals 1, that is, there is exactly one blue-eyed person, the person will recognize that they alone have blue eyes, by seeing only green eyes in the others, and leave at the first dawn. If K equals 2, no one will leave at the first dawn. The two blue-eyed people, seeing only one person with blue eyes, and that no one left on the first dawn, and thus that K1, will leave on the second dawn. Inductively, it can be reasoned that no one will leave at the first K1 dawns if and only if there are at least K blue-eyed people. Those with blue eyes, seeing K1 blue-eyed people among the others and knowing there must be at least K, will reason that they must have blue eyes and leave. What's most interesting about this scenario is that, for K1, the outsider is only telling the island citizens what they already know, that there are blue-eyed people among them. However, before this fact is announced, the fact is not common knowledge. For K equals 2, it is merely first-order knowledge. Each blue-eyed person knows that there is someone with blue eyes, but each blue-eyed person does not know that the other blue-eyed person has this same knowledge. For K equals 3, it is second-order knowledge. After two days, each blue-eyed person knows that a second blue-eyed person knows that a third person has blue eyes, but no one knows that there is a third blue-eyed person with that knowledge, until the third day arrives. In general, for K1, it is, K1, th order knowledge. After K1 days, each blue-eyed person knows that a second blue-eyed person knows that a third blue-eyed person knows that. Repeat for a total of K1 levels. A KTH person has blue eyes, but no one knows that there is a KTH blue-eyed person with that knowledge, until the KTH day arrives. The notion of common knowledge therefore has a palpable effect. Knowing that everyone knows does make a difference. 
When the outsider's public announcement, a fact already known to all, becomes common knowledge, the blue-eyed people on this island eventually deduce their status, and leave. Formalization Modal logic, syntactic characterization Common knowledge can be given a logical definition in multimodal logic systems in which the modal operators are interpreted epistemically. At the propositional level, such systems are extensions of propositional logic. The extension consists of the introduction of a group G of agents, and of N modal operators key, with I equals 1, N, with the intended meaning that agent I knows. Thus key phi backslash display style backslash varfi backslash varfi, where phi backslash display style backslash varfi backslash varfi is a formula of the calculus, is read agent I knows phi backslash display style backslash varfi backslash varfi. We can define an operator e.g. with the intended meaning of everyone in group G knows by defining it with the axiom. E.g. phi ig ki phi backslash display style e underscore g backslash varfi backslash left tri tarot backslash big wedge underscore i backslash in g k underscore i backslash varfi e underscore g backslash varfi backslash left tri tarot backslash big wedge underscore i backslash in g k underscore i backslash varfi by abbreviating the expression eg eg n1 phi backslash display style e underscore g e underscore g n1 backslash varfi e underscore g e underscore g n1 backslash varfi with eg n phi backslash display style e underscore g n backslash varfi e underscore g n backslash varfi and defining eg 0 phi equals phi backslash display style e underscore g 0 backslash varfi equals backslash varfi e underscore g 0 backslash varfi equals backslash varfi, we could then define common knowledge with the axiom. C phi i equals 0 e i phi backslash display style c backslash varfi backslash left tri tarot backslash big wedge underscore i equals 0 backslash inf t e i backslash varfi c backslash varfi backslash left tri tarot backslash big wedge underscore i equals 0 backslash inf t e i backslash varfi. There is however a complication. The languages of epistemic logic are usually finitary, whereas the axiom above defines common knowledge as an infinite conjunction of formulas, hence not a well-formed formula of the language. To overcome this difficulty, a fixed-point definition of common knowledge can be given. Intuitively, common knowledge is thought of as the fixed point of the equation cg phi equals phi eg, cg phi backslash display style c underscore g backslash varfi equals backslash varfi backslash wedge e underscore g c underscore g backslash varfi c underscore g backslash varfi equals backslash varfi backslash wedge e underscore g c underscore g backslash varfi in this way it is possible to find a formula psi backslash display style backslash psi backslash psi implying eg phi c g phi backslash display style e underscore g backslash varfi backslash wedge c underscore g backslash varfi e underscore g backslash varfi backslash wedge c underscore g backslash varfi from which in the limit we can infer common knowledge of phi backslash display style backslash varfi backslash varfi this syntactic characterization is given semantic content through so-called kripke structures a Kripke structure is given by, I, a set of states, or possible worlds, S, 2, N accessibility relations R1, Rn backslash display style R underscore 1 comma backslash dots R underscore N R underscore 1 backslash dots R underscore N, defined on S times S backslash display style S backslash times S S backslash times S intuitively representing what state's agent I considers possible from any given state, and, 3, evaluation function pi backslash display style backslash pi backslash pi assigning a truth value, in each state, to each primitive proposition in the language. 
the semantics for the knowledge operator is given by stipulating that ki phi backslash display style k underscore i backslash varfi k underscore i backslash varfi is true at state siff phi backslash display style backslash varfi backslash varfi is true at all states t such that s t r i backslash display style s t backslash and r underscore i s t backslash and r underscore i the semantics for the common knowledge operator, then, is given by taking, for each group of agents G, the reflexive and transitive closure of the RI backslash display style R underscore I R underscore I, for all agents I and G, call such a relation RG backslash display style R underscore G R underscore G, and stipulating that CG phi backslash display style C underscore G backslash varfi C underscore G backslash varfi is true at state SIFF phi backslash display style backslash varfi backslash varfi is true at all states T such that S T R G backslash display style S T backslash and R underscore G S T backslash and R underscore G set theoretic Semantic characterization. Alternatively, yet equivalently, common knowledge can be formalized using set theory. This was the path taken by the Nobel laureate Robert Amon in his seminal 1976 paper. We will start with a set of states S. We can then define an event E as a subset of the set of states S. For each agent I, define a partition on S, pi. This partition represents the state of knowledge of an agent in a state. In state S, agent I knows that one of the states in pi, S, obtains, but not which one. Here pi, S, denotes the unique element of pi containing S. Note that this model excludes cases in which agents know things that are not true. We can now define a knowledge function K in the following way. K I, E equals s s p i s e backslash display style k underscore i e equals backslash s backslash and s backslash mid p underscore i s backslash subset e backslash backslash display style k underscore i e equals backslash s backslash and s backslash mid p underscore i s backslash subset e backslash that is key e is the set of states where the agent will know that event E obtains. It is a subset of E. Similar to the modal logic formulation above, we can define an operator for the idea that everyone knows E. E, E, equals I K I, E, backslash display style E, E, equals backslash big cap underscore I K underscore I, E, E, E equals backslash big cap underscore i k underscore i, e. As with the modal operator, we will iterate the e function, e1, e, equals e, e, backslash display style e1, e, equals e, e, e1, e, equals e, e, and e n plus 1, e, equals e, e n, e, backslash display style e n plus 1, e, equals e, e n, e, e n plus 1, e, equals e, e n, e. Using this we can then define a common knowledge function. c, e, equals n equals 1 e n, e. Backslash display style c, e, equals backslash big cap underscore n equals 1 backslash inf e n, e, dot. c, e equals backslash big cap underscore n equals 1 backslash inf e n e. The equivalence with the syntactic approach sketched above can easily be seen, consider an Amman structure as the one just defined. We can define a correspondent Kripke structure by taking, i, the same space s, 2, Accessibility relations are I backslash display style R underscore I R underscore I that define the equivalence classes corresponding to the partitions P I backslash display style P underscore I P underscore I, and, 3, 
a valuation function such that it yields value true to the primitive proposition P in all and only the states S such that S E P backslash display style S backslash an E P S backslash an E P, where E P backslash display style E P E P is the event of the Amman structure. Corresponding to the primitive proposition P. It is not difficult to see that the common knowledge accessibility function RG backslash display style R underscore G R underscore G defined in the previous section corresponds to the finest common coarsening of the partitions PI backslash display style P underscore I P underscore I for all I G backslash display style I backslash and G I backslash and G, which is the finitary characterization of common knowledge also given by Amman in the 1976 article. Applications Common knowledge was used by David Lewis in his pioneering game theoretical account of convention. In this sense, common knowledge is a concept still central for linguists and philosophers of language, see Clark 1996, Maintaining a Louisian, Conventionalist Account of Language. Robert Amon introduced a set theoretical formulation of common knowledge theoretically equivalent to the one given above, and proved the so-called agreement theorem through which, if two agents have common prior probability over a certain event, and the posterior probabilities are common knowledge, then such posterior probabilities are equal. A result based on the agreement theorem and proven by Milgram shows that, given certain conditions on market efficiency and information, speculative trade is impossible. The concept of common knowledge is central in game theory. For several years it has been thought that the assumption of common knowledge of rationality for the players in the game was fundamental. It turns out, Amon and Brandenburger 1995, that, in two-player games, common knowledge of rationality is not needed as an epistemic condition for Nash equilibrium strategies. Computer scientists use languages incorporating epistemic logics, and common knowledge, to reason about distributed systems. Such systems can be based on logics more complicated than simple propositional epistemic logic, see Wooldridge reasoning about artificial agents, 2000, in which he uses a first-order logic incorporating epistemic and temporal operators, or van der Hoek etal alternating time epistemic logic. In his 2007 book, The Stuff of Thought, Language as a Window into Human Nature, Steven Pinker uses the notion of common knowledge to analyze the kind of indirect speech involved in innuendos. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.